Lucian, uh, last name. Uh, Zelensky. Zelensky, our enormous Polish friend. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and we're going to make him well on this thing. But yeah. he has a added a fifth mounting hole. Um, these are the five mounting holes to the adapter plate now. We had four. He's also added two 3 8 inch uh, dowel pins and some holes for it in this end plate that will restrict the torsional forces as the motor turns. It, it won't, won't even go on the bolts. The bolts right. will just be used to hold it to the uh, to support it. adapter. Uh, he's added three holes to our adapter and three of them here that will go into the frame sandwiching the transmission plate, uh, not the transmission plate, but the, uh, the outer adapter plate, uh, the end plate, and the cast iron body of the right. uh, and these motor. go all the way through. He did do a nice uh, cup for our uh, bearing um, and managed to get the uh, rubber O-ring and the dust um, seal on there very nicely. Um, recessed all the holes, the other mounting holes, to mount to the frame, and we're going to mount with all of them. And then we'll have the five uh, to the adapter, and three of these mounting holes will be um, all the way through. Um, he's carved out a little bit of an air channel here uh, on the theory of... Uh, uh, the fan blades and the the air cooling, you know, I I, I still think that was probably overkill. Um, it's awfully big heat sink. These two pieces here. Uh, you know, this goes back to the yeah exactly the coefficient of uh, of heat, um, air being one, water being about thirty six hundred, aluminum is about two fifty. That's not bad. That'll carry the heat away. It's very good at wicking yeah. away heat. Um, and, uh, and we have a massive uh, thing yeah. here that it's going to be bolted to. This is much heavier than this. Um, and it, so we've got a huge heat sink for that bearing. I, I do not expect uh, problems for that. So that's our end plate design. All right. I think we've got a nice piece there. We're going to have to be kind of careful putting it on. We've had to mark it um, because of those three bolts. Mm -hmm. what, and you've got them kind of shaved to the right length? Yeah, they're the right length. We've got a, I can't remember what the depth of this was, 19 millimeters. This is our thread hole here. And we've got them counterboard here, so we should be, um, we should be looking good when these, for these through bolts. Okay. And those are 6 millimeter, uh, and we've also got five uh, five, more. Five that, that go here. Shorter, yeah, that and are also 6, six millimeter. millimeter. Yeah, so these are all 6 millimeter volts. And now we're up to five on the M8s. Exactly. Yeah, so now we've got a fifth one here where we had four mm -hmm. previous one in this area right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling pretty good about the, the end plate. It's a solid inch, 26 millimeters at the bearing face. Machined 6061. Um, we're going to be connected with five bolts to the adapter um, and another five bolts to the motor and then three long bolts just m6s will go all the way through both and we've got yeah. two dowel pins here and I, I i don't know what else we could do i think that'll be pretty strong <laughs> yeah. it's a little overbuilt let's talk about our adapter we have made some changes to that as well and i want to show you now this is a little bit uh, for dramatic effect i guess because this what we had two of these uh, made, and uh, they're supposed to be identical, but in truth, that one is very low lash. This had a little bit of lash in the motor. This is, is really how we drive. And you can see I've got a little bit of lash, but I've also got a little bit of, um, what direction is that, axial? And that's I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, some axial, radial. radial direction, yeah. And so it, it could wobble, picture a uh, big flywheel and clutch out here. Um, so we really didn't have that with this one nearly to the degree. And I have to point out that the transmission comes right into here and that clutch 
is sort of centered on the transmission. Right, thing. right. So it's on not the... quite what it looks like, but it's still, there's a little bit of lash there and a little bit of um, motion. We've taken uh, the tight one and mounted it in the adapter. Let's turn that around and show them the circlip. So this is now kind of one assembly. Um, there is a little ring that holds this in here where it can't move in and out. And it's supported through uh, about two inches of aluminum. There is a thrust bearing in there now that keeps it from moving uh, in that direction. And so that should take out this wobble motion if there was any in there. Right, yeah. Uh, again, there, there really shouldn't be. The transmission shaft actually fits right in here. These are not just suspended out in space. Um, then there's a clutch here that's actually on the transmission. It's right. held with the pressure with plate, the pressure plate yeah. on, onto the, uh, um, this coupler. So th this is not quite as bad as it looks. But it's one last thing. We had a couple of our uh, viewers mm -hmm. uh, we did. note that this should be done. Uh, again, the mechanical things are not necessarily my forte. Um, so I'm willing to take instruction. <laughs> uh, and, and we did. Since we had to split it anyway, um, we did it. We balanced the flywheel. And we're going to show you that assembly uh, as we go along. But that's uh, a significant change to our existing adapter was these two dowels and additional holes for our new M, M plate. Um, three of them going all the way through uh, an additional one hole in the end plate that just magically was never provided no. on the um, um, MESDEA super design. We have been warned. All right. And, uh, <laughs> and so I think that with these changes, the uh, balanced flywheel, our stronger, uh, much stronger uh, end plate, that this should operate pretty well. But I got to tell you, I'm a little, little um, you know, red ass, a little butt sore on this whole adapter thing because we're, we're pretty much over $6,000 on this. Yeah. At this point, and so I, I would, uh, I think, if you're trying to do a conversion on a budget, an off-the-shelf adapter is a pretty right. good idea. Yeah, yep. it's much a lot better. Of fun to be back on Speedster Park. Duh. Yeah, the uh, the adapter's done. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it comes in a box. You put the pieces together, and there you are. And that's it. Um, so uh, that's you know, I think we've gotten in a little over our head. Here. We'll recover. I think the motor will make good power, um, and uh, and we're going to wind up with a good car, but it's too much money and too much trouble and too much time. It's been a lot. We, yeah. start, we started on this uh, adapting this motor to that transmission, knowing what we had the 1st of July. This is toward the end of March of the following year, and we're still flailing away. At right. Well, I think we're closer. I think we've overbuilt it, and I think we're going to be... Uh on the good side of the equation. Well, Brain, you know if I try to put this together, you're gonna have to take it apart and put it together anyway. <laughs> yeah, and, and retap some uh, and some holes. And retap re some holes. <laughs> Why don't you uh, take over and uh, show us how to uh, put this uh, in, I guess we'll put the end plate on first? Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and put that motor together and get that done. Okay. Let me lay this down so we don't. Uh, we have had Don't several viewers uh, mention um, Loctite, one, two, three, and so forth. We actually do some of that. It's kind of boring to put on camera, um, but so we need to, to show that. We don't use Loctite, one, two, three. Uh, Brian likes thread blocker blue from Therm Permatex. Permatex, so yeah, just medium strength um, thread compound, but uh, let's, uh, let's not skip any steps. No. Bye. Yeah, and I have nothing against Loctite. I guess Permatex is advertising. Is that Must right? have affected me. That advertising will. When people it, advertise. It, it will. It will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. We're starting to get, gain some ground and talking to sponsors and yeah. so forth, which is what Brian does. We're getting some interest. I think this is all going to work eventually. I think we're just going to inspect this first, make sure we don't have any 
shavings and things in here. And I've got top marked here. And just clean that up. And we'll just put make sure top and top. So that's where that's going to go. Like that. And then we're going to have to put five of our bolts. It looks like we're missing one here. I must have dropped one on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, what, we just put this on and whack it with a hammer, huh? Yeah, i got to lube it up a little bit. We can't forget. We've oh, also we, had this we, wavy we, washer. We did skip part the um, oh, yeah. sensor bearing. Yes. I'm not going to show that. We... Uh, um, have already got this run through. It came with a shorter cable. Uh, other, other than that, it's, it was the same sensor bearing, 